Hello everyone, have you ever heard of fried rice syndrome? I am Dr. Iram and today with the help of this short video, I am going to tell you about this disease while I highlight the importance of Bacillus cereus. Bacillus cereus is a gram-positive organism. It takes on the purple stain when observed under a microscope. It is a rod-shaped bacilli and is a facultative anaerobe, which is easy to remember by the clip on his nose. It is motile and is a spore-forming organism. The sources of Bacillus cereus are soil, vegetables, cereals, meat and poultry. Bacillus cereus produces two types of toxins, a diarrheal toxin and an emetic toxin. The diarrheal type is found in foods such as vegetables, meat and cereals. This causes diarrhea as we know from the name and fever. Its incubation period is 8 to 16 hours which will cause you to be sick at night or early the next morning. The toxin is secreted in our intestines post ingestion of infected foods. The toxin is heat labile, that means it cannot withstand high temperatures. The serotypes involved are 2 times 6 equals 12, 8, 9, and 10. The emetic type is found specifically in rice, that is why it is commonly called the fried rice syndrome. Like the name suggests, it causes vomiting and abdominal cramps, occasionally accompanied by nausea. It has a very short incubation period of 1 to 5 hours, which means you will likely be sick before you've even reached home. This is a preformed toxin which is found in the food you've consumed. This toxin is heat stable, so heating up your fried rice won't help. It has three odd serotypes, that is 1, 3 and 5. For the laboratory diagnosis of Bacillus cereus, we look for these findings. It should be motile, non-capsulated, not susceptible to gamma phage and isolated from our favourite poop emoji or faces. We require two selective media to culture Bacillus cereus. MYPA and PEMBA or MYPA and PEMBA. These are easy to remember. They are simply abbreviations. Both contain mannitol, egg yolk, polymyxin and agar. The only difference is the presence of phenol red in MYPA and bromothymol blue in PEMBA. Remember them as the red plus blue media which gives us a purple bacillus cereus. For the treatment, Bacillus cereus is susceptible to C for clindamycin, E for erythromycin and V which looks very much like a lowercase r for vancomycin. Bacillus cereus is resistant to the most famous antibiotic that is penicillin by producing beta-lactamase and to trimethoprim. I hope these 3 minutes have been productive for you. Do leave a feedback in the comments below. It would be awesome if you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Beware of fried rice, dear friends. Hope to see you again.